All right, so we're back over here on the board, and uh, I'm gonna pull up the acoustic guitar channel. I've got my touch select selected. So now the acoustic guitar is showing. So let's pretend it's Sunday morning and we're not getting any type of signal out of the acoustic guitar. What in the world is going on? If I look down on stage and I know that the acoustic guitar player, his drag box uh, requires phantom power, I've got to turn on the phantom power. So if you look in the left side of the screen on the display, you'll see 48 volts. So you would use the arrow pad and arrow over until you highlighted 48 volts and then press enter. That's going to turn on the phantom power and that's going to send a signal to the drag box or the microphone. All of our choir microphones are condenser microphones. If for some reason you're not getting sound out of the choir mics, always check the 48 volts first. Make sure the phantom power is turned on. All right, so Sunday morning rolls around. You're not getting anything from the acoustic guitar player. If it's a, a, an active direct box, that's what we call a direct box that requires phantom power. Obviously, you gotta make sure that the phantom power is turned on. If it's a passive direct box, phantom power isn't gonna have any effect on it. My next question to the guitar player is, I would ask him, does he have a fresh battery in his guitar? Most of our acoustic guitar players have active pickups in their guitar. It means they also require power. So they have to have uh, either a AA or a nine volt battery in their guitar. 